Hi, welcome to the demo session on VLSI by Expert HDL and Chip Design, a professional VLSI training institute. Caution statement. This video presentation contains confidential information and information that is legally privileged to Expert HDL and Chip Design. This video presentation is only to be used by the intended recipient. Unauthorized use of this video presentation, downloading, or sharing this video presentation without the consent of Expert HDL and Chip Design is subject to legal action. No photography or no downloading. You can view our free demo lectures on these topics. Semiconductor overview, which covers the fundamentals of semiconductor, some history about electronic semiconductor industry, overview of semiconductor industry in India, and opportunities in semiconductor industry in India. Integrated circuit design process. What is VLSI in VLSI overview? Verilog HDL overview. Introduction to verification flow and various verification methodologies in verification overview. System Verilog and Universal Verification Methodology Overview Overview about Expert HDL and Chip Design, VLSI Training Institute Please note, these are demo lectures and will cover some partial portions of the topics from our full courses. The information will be partial. To learn the course in detail and full, please sign up for our full course online or in classroom today. Before we learn about VLSI and opportunities in VLSI domain, let us try to understand the issue we are trying to address over here. Most electronics engineers after graduation either go for higher studies or take up a job. But most of them either end up working in an IT or software domain or become an MBA graduate and work in a finance or marketing domain. Why not explore the domain of core electronics in integrated circuit design and verification? We at Expert HDL provide you with a launch pad to launch a career in the electronics industry. In this module, we will learn slightly about VLSI, what is VLSI, and various techniques in designing very large scale integrated circuits. VLSI or very large scale integration is technology of putting many transistors on a single silicon chip to create a system on chip which can perform defined functions. Examples of Circuits designed using VLSI processors, v processors, Wi Fi modules, GSM modules, Tuskeen controllers, etc. An integrated circuit with more than 10,000 gates on a single silicon is known as very large scale integrated circuit. So, the advantages of VLSI circuit are that because the gates are packed on a single silicon, it consumes less connectivity area, it consumes very less power compared to a discrete con circuit connected on a board using discrete components. It can be tested much faster and it requires less testing. The main advantage of VLSI is that it enables design systems that are extremely fast as interconnects are very small and result in a low cost of end product. Although the design and manufacturing process involved is extremely complex and costly. Integrated circuits categorized into different types depending on the packaging density or number of transistors on a single chip. Typically, VLSI is categorized as integrated circuit with more than 1 lakh transistors on a single silicon. Current industry is technically in ULSI node with a more than a million transistors on a single silicon. In general, we call this VLSI industry. There are two main techniques of designing a very large scale integrated circuit FPGA technology and application specific integrated circuit or ASIC technology. FPGA or a field programmable gate array is an integrated circuit with anything from hundreds to tens of thousands of configurable logic blocks, each of which can be configured to numerous common logic functions or operations and have its inputs and outputs linked to either pins or other module connections by programmable internal signal routing. FPGAs can be programmed to desirable application or functionality requirements and after manufacturing and hence named field programmable. A circuit can be designed and then fed into the device to make it function at any required way. Some modern day FPGAs are complex enough to, to be capable of having an emulation of a microprocessor and memory or peripherals built inside them. As they are configured by the software, logic functions can be changed or updated 
or box can be fetched by a simple software program or firmware update. The FPGA configuration is generally specified using an HDL language using library defined FPGA manufacturer. ASIC on the other hand is a very custom flow. Application specific integrated circuit as the name suggests a custom integrated circuit is designed ground up from architecture to RTL to gate level synthesis place and route and the final physical design. The final physical design is then released to the foundry for fabrication on silicon like custom circuits soldered on specific functions. At each of the stages, various simulations and verifications are run to check for the correctness of the design. We will look at ASIC in much more detail. ASIC means application specific integrated circuits and is used to implement custom designs with specific functionality, timing, area and power requirements. Because it is a custom built up, it can have a complete control of time and electrical parameters. The main advantages of ASIC flow are that it can be described in an HDL like Verilog, System Verilog, VHDL. At various stages, simulations can be run to verify the design for functionality, timing, area and power characteristics before final design is sent for fabrication. It is constructed out of logic function cells and blocks which can be used for different ASIC architectures. The gate level design can be mapped or translated using the synthesis flow and final physical design can be achieved using place and route tools which is all automated and reduces human error. It is finally fabricated in the semiconductor foundry. The main disadvantages of ASIC are the high cost of manufacturing. The entire process requires use of several CAD tools and resources which are very expensive. Also, foundry setup required is extremely expensive and limit, limited semiconductor foundries in the world makes it even more expensive. The entire process is complex and requires experience to master the technology. As the technology node upgrades, designers have to spend significant time to understand the characteristics of the process. Diagram here shows a typical ASIC flow starting with some of the architecture, floor planning, designing, going into a lot of different analysis and verification and then the physical design aspect. ASIC flow can be further categorized as semi-specific or specific based on level of customization of design and use of standard library of designs to create a final circuit. Let us see at each of these categories and further categories. First is programmable logic array. Programmable logic array is a semi-specific type of an application specific integrated circuit flow. In programmable logic array or PLA as we call it, device used to implement combinational logic circuits. The PLA has a set of programmable AND planes which are linked to set of programmable OR planes which can be conditionally complemented to produce an output. This layout allows for a large number of logic functions to be synthesized in some of products canonical forms. Main applications being instruction set modules in microprocessors. PLS differ from FPGAs in the sense that they are not field programmable and are mass programmed during manufacturing in the same manner as ROM. Hence, unwanted connections are fused and destroyed permanently. It cannot be programmed on field or again and again like FPGAs. Next kind of a semi-specific ASIC is gate array. Gate array circuit is prefabricated silicon chip circuit with no particular function in which transistors, standard NAND or NOR logic gates and other active devices are placed at regular predefined positions and manufactured on a wafer, usually called a master slice. Creation of a circuit with a specified function is com accomplished by adding a final la surface layer or layers of metal interconnects to the chip on master slice late in the manufacturing process, joining these elements to allow the function of the chip to be customized as desired. Next is a set of specific ASIC designs. Standard cell methodology. Standard cell methodology is a method of designing ASICs with most digital logic features. A library or group of individual small modules as highlighted here containing basic logic designs such as NAND gates, NOR gates, etc. are designed and encapsulated at a low level layout. 
A high level logical function aspect of digital design can be directly implemented using low level cells and connecting them directly using place and route flow. This eliminates creating full custom layout and along with semiconductor manufacturing advances, science cell methodology has helped designers scale ASICs from comparatively simple single function ICs of several thousand gates to complex multi-million gate system on chip devices. HDL plays a very important role in standard cell ASIC flow. Full custom ASICs. Full custom ASICs defines all the lithographic layer of the device. Full custom design is used for both ASIC design and for standard product design. The benefits of a cool custom design include reduced area and therefore recurring component cost, performance improvements and also ability to integrate analog components and other pre-designed and thus fully verified components, such as microprocessor cores that form a system on chip. Full custom ASICs also gives very tight control of timing and power and area requirement constraints. A system on chip. System on chip is a very high level abstraction of integrated circuits where several small ASICs, for example, a DSP core, a RAM core, a flash, a USB, a microprocessor, all are embedded on a single silicon to realize a very complex system such as a processor, which consists of different high level designs like memory, digital signal processor, connectivity modules, etc. Another example of SOC is sound detection device, which might include an audio receiver, an auto digital converter, a microprocessor, memory, and the other input-output logic, all on one single chip. The advantage of this is that it can be very fast, pack very complex features, on, and run on very low power. Let us now look at how the typical ASIC design flow works. It all starts with an idea to design a hardware targeted towards certain functionality. This is typically captured in form of a model, an algorithm, this model simply represents the required behavior functionality and does not care about the structure or circuit concepts. The design cycle actually starts with the design specification and architecture planning or floor planning, which involves specifications like timing, power, area constraints, etc. Also, depending on its usage and the connection with other integrated circuits and pins required for testing, input output pins are defined. The design is then captured as a behavioral model using HDL, like system Verilog, Verilog. Extensive verification is run to check the functionality correctness. At this level, even timing and power requirements are being checked. Then the design is translated into a gate level circuit, which is a low level and then converted to a transistor level using synthesis process. Here, several timing, power and other characterization simulations are run. Until the timing and power specs are not met, several iterations of design cycle are run over and over again, and some of them might even require to start from scratch or going back to the algorithm or going back to the architecture and floor planning. After all the floor planning to place the device is done at this end of the stage, a very important aspect of design is clock tree design. Clocks are like heartbeat of any synchronous design and the whole system works in sync with every tick of the clock. With poor clock tree design, it can throw the whole system out of sync and cause system failure. Once the design is finalized and timing and power and functionality criteria are met, design is translated into a layout or a physical design. Layout is a very important aspect as well. Layout is basically how the design is going to be printed on a silicon wafer. Hence, this process has to be utmost care and requires following a strict design rule set by the foundry for each technology node process. Physical design verification ensures layout is captured correct matching the schematic design that is called the layout versus schematic or LBS check meets the design rule set by the foundry or the DRC check and other checks like antenna effect, power, IR drop and EM analysis, signal electromigration analysis, etc. Layout file is then sent to a foundry in form of a typical GDS flow and it is called a tape out. Once the tape out is complete and ASIC is back, the chip is tested on an automated test equipment for product categorization and rigorous process ensures that ASIC meets all the requirements and functionality of the customer. Finally, the product is shipped to the customer. The customer rents end to end product testing embedded along with the other systems on chip. 
example of a typical ASIC is an SOC processor. It consists of various ASICs designed on a single silicon. For example, an ARM processor, peripheral bridge, several connectivity modules, memories, and other analog components, along with the inputs and outputs on the boundary of the chip. Most of the blocks are custom designed from transistor level to physical design. Then all the blocks are stitched together using a physical design. Now that we have learned about how the ASIC design verification process works, it is very interesting to experience how these complex circuits, electronic products are touching and changing millions of lives daily across the globe. Working on creating these amazing electronic products is even more interesting and challenging. Well, would you like to be a part of this change? Let us now tell you how expert HDL and chip design can help you achieve this. Expert HDL and chip design is one of the leading VLSI training institutes in India today. Expert HDL and chip design is founded by a group of industry experts who have real-time experience of more than 10 years in the ASIC design and verification domain and currently working for top global semiconductor companies in India and USA. We saw a huge gap between the industry and academia in VLSI knowledge and that is when we decided to establish a VLSI training institute. Our main goal is to groom our students as experts in ASIC design and verification domain. Our courses will teach you the latest in ASIC design and verification methodologies as per the current industry standards. We provide specialized full-time job-oriented and short-term advanced skill certification courses in VLSI domain. We are the bridge between college and corporates connecting students with semiconductor companies across the globe. Zero investment for corporates to find and recruit talented engineers in VLSI industry. After the success in in-class trainings, we have now launched a unique online training platform for all our skill development courses in VLSI. To enroll and to find out more of our online training programs, you can visit our website www.experthdl.com. Many engineers who have taken our courses are placed in top semiconductor companies in India and abroad. Our online training courses are taken by a lot of working professionals across the globe. So why should you take our course in VLSI? Well, the main reasons we see are due to lack of knowledge of VLSI, students do not even explore the career in this amazing industry. Fresh graduates who join this industry take up a long time to cope up with the technology because of lack of knowledge of the process. This also requires industry to spend a lot of money to train these fresh graduates, restraining them from hiring fresh graduates and instead invest in experienced professionals. So you must be wondering what is so unique about this institute and why should you learn VLSI from us? Let us tell you some of the benefits. Experienced faculty. All of our courses are prepared and delivered by our industry expert faculty who have real-time experience of more than 10 years in VLSI domain and have a postgraduate degree in electrical engineering with majors in VLSI from top ranked universities in India and USA. Our uniqueness is that all our founders and faculty are currently working for top global semiconductor companies in India and USA. We have unique course offerings in ASIC design and verification domain with full-time job-oriented training and skill certification courses in IC design, digital design, Verilog HDL, system Verilog, UVM, Perl, Unix, and shell scripting. We are constantly working on adding more and more courses on different aspects of integrated circuit design and verification. All of our training material is prepared and reviewed by industry professionals with lots of research. Our trainings will enable you to directly step into the industry with confidence. A certificate by Expert HDL and Chip Design will be awarded on successful completion of the course and passing the quiz examination attached with the course, which is very well recognized in the industry. Companies can check the authenticity of the certificate of a candidate by contacting us. The major benefits of learning from us is our unique 
completely online learning platform. We are first of its kind training institute providing online training for courses in VLSI. Trainings are delivered in form of high quality video tutorials accessible from within our website for various courses in ASIC design and verification domain. Each skill advancement course is very well structured into multiple lessons with high quality e-learning content for each of the lesson. Access to this e-learning content online is valid for 180 days from the day of registration, which enables the individuals to learn the course at your own convenience and pace from any location. The content is accessible from our responsive website on any device like your laptop, tablet, or smartphone with internet connectivity and compatibility to play the video. Also, you can ask your queries to our faculty by sending a message just from within the course. Some of the benefits of online training are that for all the individuals who are enrolled in our online training, a hard copy of the training material is shipped to your registered address. This can become your golden reference manual. You will also be enrolled in a close members group on LinkedIn with semiconductor company recruiters, industry experts, and other members. Take part in active discussions on various topics in VLSI and expand your knowledge database. And also learn more about what's going on in the industry and latest technological advancements. Get a unique opportunity to network with recruiters to explore new opportunities in semiconductor industry and get more visibility to your profile. All this from your desk at home or workplace and at your convenience and pace. Our trainings are most ideal for current students who are planning to pursue higher education in VLSI domain or planning to take up a job in semiconductor industry anywhere across the globe. Students can take advantage of our online courses to boost their knowledge in ASIC design and verification even before graduating without worrying about spending additional time after graduation to learn skills in VLSI. Our trainings enable you to get a head start in your career. Our certification boosts your profile. Our online trainings are most ideal for working professionals who want to learn or enhance skills in VLSI without the need to attend classroom trainings during or after your busy work hour schedule, learn the skills at your convenience and pace anytime, anywhere. Our course content is most updated with latest advancements in the industry. Apply your learning real time at your work. Learn with us and get ahead in your career. Expert HDL and Chip Design also provides customized corporate trainings in ASIC design and verification domain. With our state-of-the-art online training solution, we help companies and teams get the skills they need to succeed in VLSI industry. We will customize the modules to meet your requirements. Bulk costing is available for multiple access licenses. You saw the benefits of online training. Listed here are our online training courses. We have certification courses in Advanced ASIC Design and Verification, which is our most comprehensive course covering all the modules. Digital Design Certification focused on fundamentals of digital design. Verilog Certification, which teaches Verilog Hardware Description Language for design and verification. It is recommended to know digital design before you take Verilog Certification course. System Verilog Certification, which teaches the most widely used hardware description and verification language system Verilog for design and verification. It is recommended to know basics of digital design and Verilog before signing up for System Verilog course. UVM Certification, which teaches the universal verification methodology, which is the most widely used and latest verification methodology industry standard. And they also have courses in Perl Unix and shell scripting, which is very useful for all the VLSI engineers. The course content is described in detail in the next slides. We also offer customized corporate trainings. Our goal is to make available all our trainings online so students and working professionals across the globe can benefit from our trainings. We are continuously working to update our course contents with advancements in the industry and also adding new courses in different concepts in VLSI. We are currently offering online training for Verilog hardware description language for design and verification and will soon be adding other online training programs 
in a very short span of time. Please visit our website www.experthdl.com to enroll for one of our online training programs. You can send us an email at inquiry at experthdl.com for further details. Module 1 is an introductory module in VLSI and we teach you with basics of VLSI terminologies and gives you the overview of IC design process. Module 2 is Digital Design and Concepts. We cover all the fundamentals of digital design in detail which will lay a strong foundation for learning Verilog HDL, System Verilog HDL and verification methodologies. Today's integrated circuits are more than 90% digital designs. We start with introduction, then we go into the logic gates and combinational circuits. We cover all of the sequential circuits, design of synchronous sequential circuits, finite state machines, and all the fundamentals. Module 3 will teach you verification flow and methodologies in verification in detail. We start with what is verification, why the verification is important, ASIC verification methodologies, ASIC tools used for verification, followed by simulation and fundamentals of simulation. Module 4 is complete Verilog hardware description language course. Verilog as explained earlier is a very important and widely used HDL for IT, IC design and verification in the industry. Current standard or extension of Verilog is System Verilog and UVM. The module is also an independent certification course widely taken by audiences across the globe. Module 5 is a complete System Verilog module. System Verilog is widely used in the industry due to its vast verification support for complex designs. System Verilog is more object oriented. The module along with the next module is also an independent certification course. We go over the basics of System Verilog, fundamentals of object oriented programming, integration of test bench and design under test in System Verilog, concepts like randomization, concurrency and inter-process communications, and also cover what is coverage. Module 6 is an extension of Module 5, teaching advanced concepts in System Verilog, mostly useful for verification. For example, more details about object-oriented programming, factory patterns, virtual interfaces, connecting des design under test, test bench and third party modules, creating test with System Verilog assertions, what are checkers and monitors, going into the assertions of System Verilog for verification. Module 7 is a complete module in universal verification methodology, which is the current industry standard for verification methodology. This course is an independent certification course, but we highly recommend you take along with System Verilog because of its wide extension of System Verilog concepts. We go over the UVM overview, the library basics of UVM, and then the test bench integration and entire flow in detail. Most of the CAD tools and work in VLSI domain is performed on Unix and Linux platform. Hence, it is highly important to completely familiarize yourself with the Unix operating system. Module 8 is designed to give you a complete overview of Unix and Linux operating system. We also teach you in detail Perl. Perl is a scripting language which is widely used by designers to automate a lot of the flow and to write handy scripts for local automation of tasks to be performed again and again. In the industry, many automation scripts are written around standard CAD tools to enhance the design and verification. We introduce to you Perl. We explain to you all the different data types of Perl, expressions in Perl, and how to write a Perl script. Module 8 is a complete module to teach you the fundamentals of Unix and Perl. We also teach you some basics of shell scripting. Shell scripting is very handy in writing some automation in Unix and Linux environment. So let me conclude by saying VLSI is a very interesting and a challenging domain to establish a career in. Lots of opportunities with demand for smart electronic products, rising opportunities and requirement of smart engineers to create these smart devices is on the rise. 
but to accomplish these tasks it is required to use complex design techniques and sophisticated tools to manage these complex designs. The trainings offered by Expert HDL and Chip Design will enable you to achieve these goals and launch a successful career in VLSI domain. With the convenience of online training, you have the freedom to learn the course at your pace and interact with our experts and other members online. So go ahead and sign up for one of our online training programs today or contact us for more details. You can visit our website at www.experthdl.com to view our course contents in detail to enroll for our online training programs or contact us. Or you can drop us an email with your query at inquiry at experthdl.com and one of our team members will respond to you soon. You can follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn and Google Plus to get latest news and updates. Search for Expert HDL Chip Design. Thank you for attending this demo session on VLSI and we hope you will sign up for our online training programs or you can contact us for further queries. You can also view our demo on other topics for free before signing up for our courses. We appreciate your time.